Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Again, my name is Kevin McGray. Um, honestly, this this engagement is not really about me. It's really about y'all, you know, as the kids. So um, what we can kind of do to get this thing rolling is um, we'll open the floor with questions because it's irrelevant for me to sit here and say, hey, I play pro basketball or I, I publish books or I write stage plays. It's irrelevant. Because the second I say that, who am I talking about the most? Me. And it's about y'all. So I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Um, I want you to answer them. You know, with your best capability. Um, but before we do that, if each one of you would do me the luxury of standing up and saying a few things about yourself, you know, addressing us for me, kind of set the tone for that. Is for, all right, we'll start off with um, Mariah. That's good. See, I like them. They ain't shy. They won't be by the time I get you. Something different. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to look at it. Yeah. yeah you good. It's okay. We like family to you. <laughs> That's how we're going to be. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> 
devil. All right, so I, this is what I want to happen. I'm going to ask you kids a couple questions, and I want you to give me your most honest answers. There ain't going to be many questions. It's not going to be intimidating. Just be honest. If you don't know, say you don't know, but give me your honest answers. Okay? <clears throat> Do you have a skill or a gift that you think, if you use it, it can change the world? Question. Do you know what I mean by that? Okay, do you know what I mean by that? All right, for an example. So when I was a kid like you guys, I wanted to play professional basketball. Now when I went to school, everybody said, uh, hey man, you're going to hear it. When you say you want to play pro sports, people are going to say, hey, come up with a backup plan. When you're in school, you ask them, What's the, what you want to be? Doctor, lawyer, and pro professional athlete is the top three things you want to hear from the kid. And when you say the pro athlete, they're going to have a backup plan. I didn't want to have a backup plan because so I wanted to become a pro athlete. And so I became one. Okay? When I became a pro athlete, it impacted everybody I knew. You know? I made, I made enough money where I didn't have to work. I made enough money where, uh, you know, some of my loved ones, I could pay them. They didn't have to work. In other words, my skill that I had becoming a pro basketball player position me where I can help my family, where I can take out money to go start a gym, where I can meet great people. Do you, do, there's a skill inside of you that when you share it with people, it's going to change the world. That skill is called your gift. Does that make sense? So what is your gift? He said he was a YouTuber. That's a gift. He want to be a YouTuber. You gotta say what you want to be. Huh? What is your gift? What What is it? What is it that when you do it? What is it that when you can't do it, it makes you want to cry? Uh, what you do every day? <laughs> Talk on the phone. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a skill. That's a good skill. Somebody to pick it up. <laughs> so you it, it got a YouTube channel? Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you say yes on this one now. I saw you. Alright, explain me why you think school is important. Wow, that's a good answer. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Anything else? That's a good answer. Man, you got some smart kids. <laughs> That's good.
Me? Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Let me ask y'all for a question. Have you ever walked in your house and seen your mom tired from working? You ever see it? You ever see a tired from working? How does that make you feel when you see it? Don't look at mom. How does that make you feel when you see it? Got some good keys. <laughs> what I want you, what I want you guys to know, is that that same skill, whether it's here, whether it's YouTube, whether it's what you're gonna find out soon, when you use it, it will bring money to you. Whereby you can take that money and spend it in position, mom, where she don't have to work no more. Period. See, these are things you must think about when you take your, when, when you when you wake up every day. When you go to school and you're doing the activities you do on a day-to-day -day basis, you in a position, the position mom, where mom don't have to work, period. That's where the motivation must come from, okay? It's hard seeing mom bust down dishes. It's hard seeing mom coming from work She's still trying to prepare a meal and she barely and she barely can keep her eyes open. It's hard seeing mom come in the house, gotta do y'all laundry after working all day. And then y'all got extracurricular activities too. Correct? I mean obviously y'all out here. So it's important that this gift, you use it because it can bring you money whereby now you can take that money and spend it so mom doesn't have to work. You understand? And if you position your mom where she don't have to work, guess what that means you did? You changed the world. Because when you change the world, you impact one person at a time. And the first person, children, that y'all should start with, right, right, right. Like that in the seat, okay? So just keep that in mind. Because when I'm training you guys, that's what I'm gonna be bumping. Coach, why are you so crazy? Why are your eyes so big? Why you got so much passion? Why are you yelling? Because that's that remembrance sits on my chest, but in the shirt form. Okay, I take it with me every one of Oh, my next question. <clears throat> how long y'all? How, how old are you again? Okay. If you had all the money in the world, what would you do with it? Uh, I'll give it like, I had like all of them. If you had all, what would you do with it? I'll give it all of them. Wow. You got some good kids. That's a good answer. That's good. That's good. What else? And y'all may not know this, but mom is hearing this, and it's going right here. You know, mom, look, mom has not looked up since y'all been talking. So it's, it's, it affects mom too, you understand? But there's an energy that you exchange um, with, with your loved ones through your day-to-day -day actions. If you go to school and make the best grades, you become the best YouTuber, you become the best hairstylist, and you discover that gift, you become the best at it, Mom is positioned to be the best mom, the happiest mom. You understand? And that makes a difference. But continue. If you had the, all the money in the world, what would you do with it? Yeah, I don't know. Some toys. <laughs> uh, uh, you just 
Are you your dream car? Yeah. That's good. What's your dream car? She said she wanted to drive. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. The kids know you. <laughs> what about you, mom? You got all the money in the world. What would you do with it? I got a couple of like, parking buildings and not a lot of buildings. I can keep making money. Mm. It's a blessing. Uh, we're just going around answering the same question or answering the, the, the pertinent question. If you had all the money in the world, what would you do with it? to the kids, invest into their future, um, get more recreation centers, um, and just, you know, my family, making sure they straight and creating generational wealth, making sure the babies wouldn't have to worry about jobs when they get older, you know, that we work into the family business, and just give back as much as I can while I'm here, you know, I will do that. What about you? If I had all the money in the world, I'd do exactly what I'm doing right now. I would invest it into education, and I'm not talking about traditional education. I mean the skill set that's outside of the book. Because, again, you have traditional knowledge, and you have knowledge that overstands tradition. And the gap between uh, what I would like to call the old school or, or the old generation to now is that, that median from traditional knowledge versus uh, uh, this new knowledge that people don't talk about. And so I would create more education that's, that makes people aware of that. You know, for an example, when you fill out a job application, it says uh, um, degree, it says uh, educational institutes that you've attended, 
but it also says special skills. And quite frankly, when people hire you, special skills means much more. Special skills and experience means much more than education, which is totally contrary to what you're taught in college. So now, what does that kid do who thinks, watch this, no disrespect, mom, that, that, that your degree alone equates to success? The world is not that way no more. And I have my degree, and I'm, I encourage you, you better get your degree. But again, it would be a lie to think that alone is success. Mm -hmm. Because out here, it takes a little bit more than that. Meaning knowing not just having a skill, but how to apply the skill out here. You understand? And the application part is a whole other now. So I would educate people on the things that goes outside of the traditional curriculum. So, and I hope that's clear. Those are my, my uh, most pertinent questions today. Um, again, we teach, it's called, the, our boxing program is called ZOO26, Z-U-U-D-2-6. What does that stand for? It stands for together. Um, in our training facility, which is located on 3011 Wooten Boulevard, um, we just finished hanging 16 punching bags in there. We got a 20 by 20 boxing ring in there, and we got a classroom space. So every, our plan is on Wednesday, on Mondays and Wednesdays for us to work to exercise the kids. On Mondays will be primarily general fitness exercises, ranging from push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, I mean jogging. Um, Wednesdays will devote to primarily boxing. We got sponsors that's gonna donate on boxing gloves to each kid, um, conducive to them signing up, okay? Um, but that's gonna be a regiment. We'll also have throw some meditations in there because we also teach that at the facility, which is, is, is just as important as exercising. As I tell you, it's important to know how to lose weight without working out. Now, what does that mean? Uh, how can I lose weight without working out? Well, your thoughts are weight. And if you don't know how to release the thoughts that's weighing you down, then when you in the gym working out, you ain't gonna have the self-esteem to turn yourself to the, to the version of yourself you wanna be anyway. How many people you know that work out and then they walk out of the gym with the same low self-esteem? Because it ain't the weights that's weighing you down, it's your thoughts you took in the gym and the thoughts that you got at the house when you're looking in the mirror. If you don't remove them, the gym don't serve you. You understand? So we think we train a strong body that equates to a strong mind. Absolutely not. Okay? But, but these would be the things, the points of emphasis in our training style at the facility. Yes, I'm going to be hard on your kids. Yes, they're going to hate you, but they're going to love you. <laughs> but again, I work in the prison, and the kids lack discipline. It's discipline or disciplinary system. It's one or the other. And as far as the, the community, with all due respect to any woman, it's the man's job to implement the discipline. You understand? Not take... Every human has the capability, but in a household, predominantly, um, the men are lacking. And so this men touring program is a great platform to um, utilize and effort, you know, start to install those principles on the children, children, which is the reason why we decided to be a part of this. In addition to knowing that uh, Dante Chester is a phenomenal person, you know, and everything that Al Wilson is about is phenomenal. Okay, so, um, yeah, we look forward to kicking off. And like I said, 3011 Wooten Boulevard. And we've been running our fitness program for about two years. Um, we taught it at colleges. Um, we taught it at high schools. We taught it at middle schools. We taught it in this community. So um, we've had a lot of success. And uh, love you. Um, we look forward to what's to come. You know, um, my training philosophy, which is the last thing I want to emph 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 emphasize with you guys, okay? Uh, so at the, at the gym, the clients ask me, they say, uh, why do we, you know, as far as the training style, if, if, if I say, sir, I need you to do five push-ups, right? And you ain't had the energy to do the five, then that means your sister's gonna do it. And they're gonna say, well, what I gotta do, what he ain't doing. Matter of fact, now everybody do 15. That's how we work at the gym. The model at the gym is together. Everything we do, we do together, okay? 
And the reason they're beyond that is because there was this story about the, these kids in Africa. These kids. There was this guy who went to Africa to do a study on some African kids. Uh, a Caucasian man. He went, to, he went to Africa to do some study on the kids. So he went to one of the tribes. And there was three African kids. He saw them. Oh, what a coincidence. <clears throat> there was three African kids, African kids he saw, right? And so he went up to the kids and he said, hey, look, I want to do, I want y'all to race. Let's play a game. So what he did is he, he, there was this tree. He tied some food to the tree, right? All the kids lined up. He said, on your mark, he said, go. Whoever can run to the tree and grab the food first gets to eat it, right? So he said, on your mark, he said, go. And when he said, go, all the kids grabbed homes and they walked to the food together. Wow. So my training philosophy is molded after that. That's how we train. One fall, all fall. One win, all win. But regardless of the outcome, you're going to have to deal with me. <laughs> so, um, you know, but, but that's, that's pretty much it. Um, we have a few forms up here that is not mandatory to, to look into the forms right now. We can get the forms from out when we get to the facility. But we did want to take this time to at least meet and greet um, I did play professional basketball, not a big accomplishment. I played for five years, not, not a big accomplishment. Um, I changed my name legally. If you was to Google me, you would have to look at Kason Cheeks. I changed my name to Caden LeBray after my last basketball season. Um, I'm the author of two books, and there was a stage play written based on my life story um, that I'm now uh, directing and playing my character in the play. Um, so, I mean, those are some of the, uh, the big things in my life right now, but the, the biggest thing is working with these kids um, to me. Like I said, the accomplishments, they'll die. But these kids, the legacy will live on through them. So this means everything. Uh, but that's pretty much it presentation-wise. If anybody have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, once we get everything in order, like I said, 3011 Wooden Boulevard, and we will... We'll, we'll, um, Dante will get, get all the specifications and we'll have him at the facility for an hour, which we'll, we'll work him out Monday, boxing on Wednesday, and we'll throw in meditations every once in a while. Um, but other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. Is there any other questions that you guys have? Um, and please ask, because again, this ain't about mom, it ain't about me, it's about y'all. Okay? Um, I'm going to talk to y'all a lot. I'm gonna fry you up too. I'm gonna hold you accountable. I'm gonna make you a leader. I'm gonna make you a beast, just like me. Okay? But with that comes accountability. It comes putting in work. It comes polishing your mind. You understand? And these are the things that I'm gonna make sure, those are the seeds that I'm gonna make sure I plant into your life. Alright? So, but is there any questions? Please ask if you do. And if there's some later, tell mom. Mom called me. Um, but, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we all meet sooner than later, you know, on the other side of this. Any questions? Any questions? Parents, any questions? No.